Hi everyone and welcome back to another fun video. Today I'm going to share two cars using lots of butterflies and I am showcasing the new designer's choice die set by Tonic Studios. Now this is a set of dies that comes up uh, every month. It is not a subscription box. You can check out if you like and then, then order it. By the way, you get a ton of dies and they are only $24.99. So as you can see you get lots of borders and um, those borders do not cut out the outside so they just give you the inside detail on a piece of paper. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So like that and if you want to cut that out and turn it into a strip they also give you a set of uh, rectangle dies that match each and every one of those uh, borders. So I'm going to pick them up and you can see that for each and every one of those borders there is one rectangle that you can use them separately for other uses as well. Now in this uh, big one there is a circle and in the middle it fits a butterfly as well as three more circles that have lovely sentiments on top. So you get for you, thank you and with love. Now you also get a big butterfly, a lovely detail for the corners. So in the set you get a bunch of dies that you can mix and match together to create beautiful designs. Today I'm going to share a couple of cards, so let's start with the first one. I'm using cardstock by Tonic Studios and you will find linked everything down below. This is a really beautiful one, it has a satin effect and it is called Pink Chiffon. So I'm placing my die on top, I run it through my die cutting machine and you can see that I get a beautiful border. I'm using my pick tool to pop all those little pieces out and uh, once I saw this circle I knew I had to turn it into a shaker card. Now this beautiful design goes all the way from edge to edge so I am going to use another cardstock at the back to cover up the lovely lace design and then use the circle to cut out a window. And I will use the same paper to cut out the butterfly as well as the little circle that says for you. At the back of my main panel I'm going to use my tape runner and then stick that on top of the other paper and then again at the back I'm going to add some tape. Now I will use some acetate and stick it there and I have a lovely window. Now to turn this into a shaker card I used foam squares to create a little pocket and this is going to go on top of my card base. Now for the shaker elements I decided to go with these hot pink stars these are by the Pure Scene Confetti Collection and although these are pink, they are actually iridescent so they pick up lots and lots of colors. I'm going to place my other panel on top, make sure that uh, I have a good contact with the foam tape and my window card is ready. All I need to do is to add a sentiment. For that I'm going to go with that For You sentiment but instead of using it as a circle I'm going to personalize it, make it my own and I'm going to cut out completely the outside border. So remember that you can always cut out piece, bits and pieces from those dies and turn them into something completely different. And I have also cut out a couple of the small butterflies. I'm using my uh, bone folder to make sure that the wings are kind of uh, fluffy, a little bit dimensional. I'm only going to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back of the body of the butterfly so the wings are um, dimensional and they are not completely flat on the card. I'm going to stick down the second butterfly and I'm going to finish it off by sticking the For You sentiment. It's a really lovely card and I had so much fun creating those butterfly cards today just because I am on a Christmas card mood and I keep making Christmas cards so it was a lovely break. Now for the next card again I'm going to work with pink colors and butterflies for another romantic card. I am going to place this border at the very bottom of this panel. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and I end up having this lovely detail. I'm going to add some tape at the back and I'm going to stick this panel on top of my other cardstock which is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. The cardstock is ivory in color and you will see that it helps that design at the bottom pop even more. It really looks like a lace. 
Now I did use the two butterflies from the set and cut out butterflies out of the same ivory cardstock as well as out of vellum. So I'm going to stick the two butterflies directly on top of my card base. I'm using my Novo Deluxe and these butterflies are going to lay flat on top of the pink cardstock. And now I'm going to stick my vellum ones on top. For that I'm going to use my bone folder, make sure that the wings are dimensional. And I'm using glue only at the center, at the body of the butterfly. And you can see here all the dimensions that I got by having the vellum on top of the other butterfly. So finally I use these two dies to cut out two pieces, one out of ivory, which is the back, and uh, the sentiment out of the pink cardstock, I placed one on top of the other, and I have a lovely sentiment for my card. And finally I'm going to add some crystal gems, these are also by Nuvo, and they are from the Pure Scene Gemstones collection. I'm going to add three of those in uh, the body of each butterfly. The gems give a beautiful shine and a lovely finishing touch on the butterflies. There are different sizes on this uh, little jar. I used the middle one and the tiniest one for the butterflies. And you can see some close-up photos here. So these were the cards for today. As I was showcasing the new designer's choice by Tonic Studios, I hope you had fun that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment, to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.